Hello everybody. My name is Old Rags. I'm a blues man and um, and I always tamper with my gear. And I'm with my friend here, Bonnie B. Hello everybody. Bonnie B, he likes to use this Roland Cube EX. And he likes to play it on the street. And this thing has on its back here an input for this battery pack, which can be inserted here. Maybe you can tell him what, what kind it's of... A, the model is a Roland Street Cube uh, EX. It's really the best one. It's, it's a great device. Yeah. But the battery pack holds eight AA batteries, and on these batteries, how long does it run, Bonnie? Take, uh, two, uh, two hours. Two hours maximum, yeah. right. So it's expensive, or if you have chargeables, it's a lot of work to recharge each cell to open and close the pack. Mm -hmm. So we were wondering if we could use this type of 12 volt battery. That's a Bosch tool battery, but I guess you can, you can use any other 12 volt, volt battery because, well, these eight AA batteries at 1.5 volts times eight, that's exactly the 12 volts we're getting with these 12 volts batteries. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're just going to try and build an adapter to, to plug these 12 volt batteries into this Roland amp. Okay, here we go again. Why again? Well, because I already have made first prototype. And uh, I was going to publish the footage of this, the making of this first prototype, but um, due to a data transfer bug, I lost the footage. And now I'm just going to make a second one of these. So what is it? What is this thing? Well, so of course you need, a, you need to have your 12 volt Bosch tool battery, or you can probably do that with a different brand. And you need the corresponding... Um, adapter to USB. This has gotten USB output. We're not going to use this output for this project. And a 12 volt output. This is actually the straight output of the battery. So what is this doing? Well, the battery is bringing 12 volts to this connector. The connector leads into these metal poles. They are screws actually. And these screws will then bring the contact and we're just going to replace it with this system. And then using M4 screws, we can just hold it down like this. And that's how these connectors bring the juice to our unit. So yeah, I'll let you enjoy the footage of how I'm copying this. You need a piece of scrap. This is aluminum, but you could you could use any metal or strong enough plastic maybe just to connect to to screw down the entire thing onto the Roland. So yeah, this was a hard disk drive enclosure. I'm just going to cut off an, another slice of it to have a second bar like that. And this piece of wood, that's a three-ply uh, piece of, what is this, uh, spruce. Right, it's got the right thickness, two centimeters thickness you need here. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to start by, by copying these, uh, these two parts. Okay, so... I took wood, but you can actually probably take a piece of plastic for this. And the important part is uh, that it's a non-electrically conductive material, since we're going to connect our two, our plus and minus uh, metals in here. And uh, I'm going to improve the design of the new thing a little bit, because of course, if you have the battery inside here, and I'm not going to do it because it will immediately do damage to my battery but right if you just would set this on a metal surface for example if i were to deposit this on this metal surface i would have a short circuit here which would be dramatic so um, i'm going to improve if you look at the original pack 
these connectors are a little, little bit inside of the surface so you can't have a short circuit like that so our new one is going to improve uh, improve that So in order to prevent these from shorting by accident, by lay laying the thing on a metal plate, for example, I'm just going to add a thin layer of plywood, just thicker than the screws heads, so that it will, well, have a protective effect. down with uh, absolutely regular wood glue and put that together. So the glue has dried and uh, I gave this a little bit of sanding and now we're ready to mount on top of here this next thing here this was ordered on Aliexpress and um, it's a holster for a 12 volt battery it can be inserted here and then we have uh, 12 volts here, here and USB here. So I'm just going to I'm going to drill right a, right a, across it and then uh, screw this onto my wooden plate.
the last thing to do is to connect the plus of this connector to the plus here. The, the best way to see if this is right is to double check with your multimeter, insert a battery, and now let's see. According to the inscription, this is a plus side, but let's see if that's correct. That looks correct, right? If I turn it around, I'd have negative. So that's correct. Plus is on the bottom, in my case, both on the connector and on the bottom um, pin. All we need to do now is add some insulation here with a little bit of hot glue. All right, let's do one last test. This should give us plus and this a minus. So, let's see if that's correct. And we have a positive voltage. Okay, we are now at the music room. We've got a freshly charged 3 ampere hour 12 volt battery inserted in our adapter. And we've got the Roland Cube running on maximum output power. And I'm just using this tablet with my favorite blues playlist input in the audio in stereo and volume almost to the maximum so yeah of course if we're going to busk we're probably not going to use this amp on low volume but rather loud so let's start this show and see how many hours it lasts <laughs> again Hello, I'm back Where and I gave you the adapter so it's mounted on one of your cubes yeah I'm very happy you're very happy yeah, with very, it very, very happy and, and you did it very good and how long can you play with it I think uh, around six or eight hours six to eight yeah, hours yeah. with like you had a two amp hour battery right yeah exactly and uh, you know to play in the street is my goal and uh, uh, during this uh, this uh, this difficult time and it's very good to go to the roots and play in the street and uh, what you did to me is it's beautiful because it cost uh, to me less expensive don't need to buy a battery uh, yeah you can charge great. very fast exactly. faster than you need then you can actually wear the battery down right exactly yeah and it's strong yeah you did it man <laughs> All right, thanks. I hope you, you enjoyed for a long time. And uh, if, uh, if you need another copy, you know where to find this video and, uh, exactly. and make one, you. right? Or you can I call, call me, you. of course. <laughs> okay, you want to play a song? Oh, yeah. Yeah, play let's play together. the blues, yeah. All right. <laughs> 